Yes, so um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a few words for uh, most outstanding, or most, sorry, most improved symphonic band member, uh, outstanding junior, and then the award voted on by the band, the outstanding senior award. Uh, this, is, this year's called standing, uh, sorry, this year's most improved uh, symphonic band member actually switched instruments at the beginning of the year. Uh, he was an outstanding bass clarinet player, a very good bass clarinet player. Uh, and a good friend of his uh, plays string horn. And so he's like, can I play French horn this year? And I'm like, sure. I, I, got, I got another bass clarinet. And I'm like, what the heck? I really like another French horn. Like, that's really nice to have a French horn around. I've got some cover of bass clarinet. Very good. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Um, and then, like, you kind of learn to play it, like by the end of the year, but by now he can play French horn pretty well. Uh, that's impressive, it's a very difficult instrument. There's a lot of right answers that are through the same finger. I mean, you can push this one button down and get like 10 different notes. And so it requires you to have uh, a good pitch understanding, a good relative pitch, you know, okay, this is the note I was on, and be on something higher with this, with this finger down for this note, uh, but not too high. It's just, a, it's a tricky skill. Um, the other thing that's interesting about this, I think, um, this person, like, I think went from two months in the band, I want to say, like, by the first concert or after the first concert, maybe in fifth grade. Uh, the person, I think, played all the sax. And then he quit, and I was like, this is the first, actually, I mean, basically the first kid that, you know, started, who was my first job I essentially had with a band director, not just subbing or helping out. Uh, and I was like, yeah, that sucks. I mean, I, I feel bad, but I'm like, I guess it happens. Um, I guess what I kind of learned is you just don't know where people are going, you don't know where kids are going. Go. Um, and that's 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 kind of a cool lesson. So that'll be my that'll be my thing when I when I think of actually Dalton um, Johnson, this person. When I think of him, I'd be like, I just you know you never write off a kid because you don't you don't really know what's going to happen. You know you, you you do your best guess about what you can do and what how things are going to go, uh, but you just don't actually know. And that's a good thing to keep in mind as a teacher. I think in general, it's like you, you just don't know um, in the best possible way. So Dalton Johnson. Uh, this is Thank <laughs> you. 
when we started out in band, it was Mr. K's first year of teaching, I guess, ever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's just, it's been a long ride. We started off as like small, little, obnoxious fifth graders. And then eight years later, we're still here and we're slightly taller, slightly bigger, still obnoxious 12th grader. Um, but throughout all these years, eight whole years, Mr. K has taught us a lot of lessons. It's not just about music and like about notes and the dynamics, but other life lessons about like why it's important sometimes to keep quiet and <laughs> paying attention, respecting others. And all of these lessons we respect so much and we will always, always treasure the time we have with you. And yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. 